I'm Willie, Willie Laner from Le Montberry. This is my cave, or the entrance to it. It's 1,600 square feet, and it's completely underground except for the entryway. Uh, I'm a second generation cheesemaker, and I've been doing cheese for all my life. I grew up uh, making cheese alongside my father. And uh, some of the cheeses that you will see inside the cave are cheeses that I made as a kid with my dad. And for many years, these cheeses weren't made, and I've decided to bring some of them back to life. So, let's go in. Okay, there's about 7,000 pounds of cheese in here right now. I could probably store up to at least 30,000 pounds if I wanted to, if I really compress things and put everything on wheels. Uh, we have a number of different kinds of cheese here. Uh, all of them are considered what you call cave aged. Uh, I call it pseudo cave. It's a kind of cave where we're doing try to simulate cave conditions. So there are on in the rear there are bandaged cheddars, and I've got uh, a stirred curd Havarti type of cheese here. Uh, one of my own creations called Lil Will's Big Cheese, Havard, uh, Gouda, and then uh, cheese uh, near the end there that I haven't named yet. They look quite a bit alike right now because we have them dusted with diatomaceous earth, uh -huh. which is uh, something that we, we put on as a preventative uh, for uh, cheese mites, mm -hmm. which are little critters that like to, that love the environment and they, they grow up. They're, Totally harmless, except the, the health department looks at them as, like, as though they were nuclear waste. These will, uh, uh, they'll, at around between 12 and 14 months is where the flavors just come together. And they, they absolutely, from a good cheese, it becomes a really good cheese. Mm. And then around 18 months, they're magnificent. And where are they now? They're at about 10 months. Uh -huh. So they have, in another couple, three months, they're going to be really almost a different cheese.